My name is Melissa, and I have this um, blog, ESL Teacher, to help um, teachers and students become the best that they can be. And uh, one important thing for teachers and students alike is health, and that's important for everybody. And so I'm making this video to help anybody who watches it become healthier. And I went to an extreme health conference which was part of um, a series of trainings by T. Harv Ecker. Um, he's the author of this book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, which is excellent. But anyway, <laughs> um, the Extreme Health Conference, there was a speaker there who was very amazing, and his name was um, Pankaj Naram. Pankaj Naram. He flew from India to the seminar, and this is him with a tiger. Um, he said that when he met the tiger, he wanted to see the tiger and uh, they told him that it was very dangerous but he wanted to anyway so he went into the room and they locked the door because they said he probably wouldn't be coming back out. <laughs> but actually the tiger was very irate, he said, because it had a skin condition and so he helped the tiger feel better and then the tiger was all happy. So that was him with, that's him with the tiger. So, so that's the man I'm talking about. <coughs> He's a very amazing person. Uh, he started out as a military doctor. He tr trained and then he started seeing patients and he couldn't cure anybody. He couldn't cure any, any person. He was a very bad doctor. Okay? He was getting very anxious. He wanted to change his job. He, he didn't like what he was doing. And that was about 30 years ago and I'm just looking at my notes. A lot of people wanted me to tell them about what happened at the seminar because it's, there were so many amazing people and it was just such an amazing weekend and not everyone has the resources to fly to Irvine, California and participate and it was four straight days of amazing people so I'm gonna summarize from my notes what he said and if you have any questions you can maybe look him up on the internet and ask him yourself or you can um, leave a note on my blog, but I am not an expert, I just saw his presentation. But here we go. So, he wanted to change the world, right? He's a doctor, but he couldn't, he couldn't cure anyone, right? And he used to, he was training this patient, and his patient would keep coming back, but wouldn't get better. And in his mind, he was thinking, I don't even know why this patient kept coming back to me. But then one day, the patient stopped coming. And then he was walking along the street in Bombay, and he was very funny because we were in Irvine, right, when he was telling us this story. And he said that Bombay is very different from the United States because on the streets there are actually people, not just cars. Because in California where we were, nobody was, it was, I never see anyone walking on the street. Only cars, just like he said. So, anyway, he said he was walking on the street in Bombay and he saw his patient. He was like, oh, hi. And his patient was like, hello. And he's like, how are you feeling? And he's like, oh, I feel so much better. And he's like, doctor, doctor. And, and then he's like, did I do it? And he's like, no, no. He's like thinking, of course not. I'm such a terrible doctor. How could I? And he said, doctor, you know, you just didn't understand me. You didn't understand what was wrong with me. And he was like, oh, okay, I don't understand what's wrong with you. And the thing about this doctor, Naram, he's always smiling. He's so cute. Anyway, he's like, oh, okay, I don't understand. And he was telling him about how there's this doctor and he can tell you everything just by pulse reading, just by touching here, right? Pulse reading, he can tell you everything that's wrong with you, everything you need to take care of yourself, even what you're feeling, your emotions. So Dr. Naram was very curious, so he decided to go see him himself because he had his own problems. He wanted to have more hair, you know, he was anxious, he had, you know, some health problems. So he went to see the doctor, okay, and, um, the doctor was 115 years old, all right, and he was seeing like 80 patients a day, and so he goes in and he tells him he he does a pulse reading and he says, okay, so, um, you know, you have this problem, this problem, you're very anxious, you want to change your job. And he doesn't, he didn't tell him anything. All the doctor did was do this and then start telling him these things. Okay, you want to change your job, you're very anxious. Um, do you want more hair or less hair? He's like, more hair. Okay, more hair. And, and then he said, and your father is going to have a stroke when he's 72, and your mother has whatever, whatever health issue. So this doctor, 115-year-old doctor, was seeing 80 patients a day, and he could tell him 
not only all of his health issues, not only what his concerns are in his head about what he's thinking about, but also could tell him about his dad and his mom. Now he was amazed, he was like, wow, I want to do that too. I want to be a doctor like that because I want to change the world. I don't want to be this dumb doctor who can't do anything. So he goes back the next day and he says, I want to learn from you. I want to learn what you do. And the doctor's like, okay, okay, come back tomorrow. He's like, okay. So he comes back the next day and he's like, I'm here again. He's like, okay, come back tomorrow. So he comes back the next day and he's like, I'm here. And he's like, come back tomorrow. And he comes back the next day and he's like, 100 days. He does this for 100 days. And then finally after 100 days, he comes back and he's like, I am not leaving. I'm going to watch you. I'm going to see what you do. The doctor's like, sure, fine, whatever, do what you want. So he's sitting there, he's standing there watching, and then after about four hours, he really has to pee, right? He has to go to the bathroom. And then he doesn't want to move, right, because he wants to watch. And then the old doctor says, Dr. Naram, and he's like, yes? And he's like, you have to pee. And he's like, no, 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 he's like, yes, you do, you have to go to the bathroom. And he was like, and he starts crying, and he's like, no, I just want, I just want to learn from you, this medicine, and I'm afraid to put it on. And, the, and then the old doctor, the 115-year-old, says, come here, come here. And he gives him a hug, and he tells him, it's okay, it's okay. I'll teach you everything I know today. Don't worry, don't worry. And he's like, okay, okay. <laughs> and he says, what's the first thing I should do? And the doctor says, go to the bathroom. <laughs> so he goes to the bathroom, and he pees, and he comes back. And then he asks the doctor what he should do. And the doctor says, go clean the bathroom. And he's like, clean the bathroom? Why would I clean the bathroom? And so he goes and he cleans the bathroom. And he's like, oh, I don't want to do this. But he does it. He comes back. And then the old doctor gets up and walks over to see what he did in the bathroom. And he goes over and he looks and he says, this is terrible. This isn't clean. How do you expect to clean someone's body, clean someone's health, if you can't even clean a bathroom? Okay, so that's when he said that, Dr. Naram said, this old doctor, 115-year-old doctor, who ended up being his teacher, was trying to break down his ego because he was too focused on his ego. He has to get rid of, lose the ego, and then he'll be able to see people like a book. And that's how you can tell what people are thinking, what their ailments are, and how you can help them. So that was his intro story, which was extremely intriguing, wouldn't you say? 